Hey, what's up, Street Talks? This is the Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of how the first day of my first intermediate street photography workshop in downtown LA went. First, um, you know, just to start off, I was a little nervous uh, for this workshop because I never did an intermediate workshop before. It was always uh, more of an introductory workshop, more specifically about how to conquer your fear of shooting street photography, getting close to people, certain tips and techniques to be you know, invisible, you know, getting really comfortable. And so this was more focused on finding your own street photography style. So, you know, the idea that I had was that, you know, getting inspiration a lot from the masters. So we studied Cartier Bresson, Helen Levitt, Wiener Grand. Um, we also looked at, uh, who else did we look at today? We had Elliot Irwin, and we have a lot of other people to look at tomorrow. We're gonna see some, um, um, Oh yeah, today we also saw Meyerowitz, and tomorrow we're gonna see a little bit of Gildan. We're gonna see um, work from Vivian Meyer, see your work from Robert Frank, and it's gonna be really interesting. And so today, the workshop was just everything really went well. It, I had a lot of help from my mom. She actually flew all the way from the Bay Area again to help me out, and this time we had it inside. Uh, an art gallery slash colony slat um, called the Think Tank and it's in downtown LA in the heart of the fashion district so the entire district was really fascinating full of all these different colors a lot of these different garments and the wonderful thing about downtown is when you're shooting street photography you could just walk a couple of blocks and suddenly you're in the middle of the toy district and you walk a couple more blocks you're suddenly in the middle of you know the jewelry district a couple more blocks you're in like little Tokyo so there's a wide gamut, a wide range of different people from different backgrounds interacting in different uh, ways and downtown LA has definitely become one of my favorite places to shoot the street and you know for the workshop we try to really make it very engaging we looked at a lot of videos of the masters actually shooting in the streets so you saw we saw a video of Joel Meyerowitz shooting the streets in New York you saw another one of Gary Winogrand and it's, it's hilarious to when he's shooting with his camera he's like taking the photo like always fidgeting with his camera and like he just looks like a total tourist when he's shooting and you know I think it's interesting because no one really suspected him when he was shooting on the streets but anyway so we watched a lot of these videos saw a lot of these images saw a lot, read a lot of wonderful quotes about their street photography uh, methodology and you know people were really excited really pumped very inspired and you know we, when we went on shot you know everyone I challenge everyone to really try something to help really develop their style so you know looking through the work of Cartier Brisson see the way that he was able to use lines geometry shape you know some street photographers in the workshop were like hey you know I want to integrate a little bit more of that in my photography uh, some people looked at the humor of everyday life through uh, Robert Doino or uh, Helen Levitt and so okay I want to capture a little more innocence and have a lot of more and then looking at Elliot Erwitz images I want some more comedy whereas other photographers looked at the work of Joel Meyerowitz and saw this the way that he was able to really capture the entire scene use shadows lines juxtapositions so everyone kind of had a really clear idea of what they wanted to shoot in the streets and we went out shot for like three hours and everyone just really got into it and you know, uh, today I went to the streets with, um, you know, shooting with my Canon 5D, my 35 mil, and lately I've, I've actually been using, you know, the, you know, the YN 560 with a cabled flash because the good thing about using a wireless flash is that, you know, it doesn't make things all tangled up, but, you know, the battery sometimes run out of my wireless trigger and it was kind of a pain in the ass, so I'm just like, you know what, if I just use a wire, I know that I'll always be able to shoot as long as I have some batteries in this and um, you know shooting with my custom SLR strap you know I really still would prefer to shoot with like range finders or micro four thirds but you know right now I have my Canon 5D and using the custom SLR strap really helps out a lot leaves uh, pain in the shoulders because I'm able to just kind of keep my strap like this when I'm shooting keep my camera by the side and when I'm about to take a photo just slide up and take the photo and I have my flash kind of behind my back and then I'm about to take the photo and you know I was, I was experimenting with the 35 millimeter and the 24 millimeter for quite a while I'm much more comfortable with the 35 
and using the 24, like, I would get so close to people, I'd almost hit people in the face with the lens because the 24 forces you get really close. And I think, you know, 35 is more of my comfortable working distance. But I know I still do see myself trying to work a lot with the 24 uh, to get closer to people and a little bit more intimate. Anyways, you know, after shooting, we hung out with a, a bunch of us, uh, went out to eat dinner together. I went with Rinzi, I went with, um, what's that I go with? I went out with Bo, went out with Norman, and also went with Matei, who came all the way from Switzerland, um, from Geneva. Thomas, if you're watching this, you should you should meet up with him. He's a, he's a great guy. You know, we had some really great dinner, talked a lot about street photography, and it was just a really great vibe. And I guess my concluding point about these workshops is that you know I love to teach uh, for you guys who are who don't know um, when I was an undergrad at UCLA I studied sociology and I was so passionate about it the way learning about the way people interact and you can see how this interact uh, combines into street photography and I actually thought about becoming a sociology professor and getting my PhD and being able to teach in kind of a classroom setting it's something that I'm really passionate about and through these workshops, I was able to bypass like six or seven years of further education. And now doing these workshops, it really gives me the outlet to do my passion, which is teaching. Not only that, but meeting all these wonderful people like from all around the world, from different walks of life. It's just a really wonderful community. And the positivity and the energy and the inspiration there is just really utterly amazing. Um, I'm really excited for the next day, really exhausted. Uh, today was a really sco hot, scorching day in downtown, but fortunately everything went well. And so, you know, huge thanks to the Think Tank for letting me use your space. Thanks, Jacob, for setting up the, you know, help setting up, and also Caleb, also Nima and John. Thanks a lot for the love and support. And also, huge thanks to my mom, who came, like I said, came all the way down from NorCal and cooked the bomb food. And my younger sister, who made this amazing breakfast. For you guys who attended the workshop, you know how good the food was. And, um, you know, tomorrow there's a lot more good stuff. So you guys who are interested in my future workshop, you're gonna really love the food, and of course the photography. So I guess that's all I have to speak about for now. Check out some of the photos I took of the participants in action, and also you know I have some photos that I took during the work uh, during the photo walk um, when we went outside. You know, some some decent photos, nothing too crazy, but I just like to share with you guys in case you guys are curious. Um, until next time, thanks a lot guys. I love you all. Peace.